while the upcoming weather pattern seems to be falling back toward winter, we still spring forward when daylight saving time returns this weekend. At 2 a.m. Eastern Time Sunday, March 12, clocks move ahead one hour as we leave standard time behind until November. The return of daylight saving time, which Congress last year tried but failed to make permanent, is sure to reignite debate about its effects on our health and public safety, especially in the spring when we lose an hour of sleep. By shifting our clocks ahead, we essentially force ourselves to start the day one hour earlier to take advantage of more evening light. In most of the United States, daylight saving time will push sunrise back to 7A. Or later, about as late as we saw in January. However, unlike two months ago, we now have nearly 12 hours of daylight as we approach the spring equinox. In exchange for darker mornings, we'll see even more evening light. Once we spring forward, the sun won't set until 7p, or later in many parts of the country. Since 2007, daylight saving time has been observed from the second Sunday in March until the first Sunday in November. The March start date coincides with our fastest weekly gains in morning and evening daylight. This means the darker mornings we experience after the time change will only last a few weeks. The table below shows how much earlier the sun rises between March 12th, our first day of daylight saving time, and the summer solstice on June 21st. The change in sunrise is affected by latitude, greater in the north and more gradual in the southern U.S. In Washington, D.C., sunrise will arrive 1 hour 41 minutes earlier over the next three months. Seattle and Minneapolis will gain more than two hours of morning light, while in Los Angeles, Atlanta, Houston and Miami the difference is less than 90 minutes. If we abolished daylight saving time and stayed on standard time all year, the total amount of daylight would not change. However, it would mean sunrise would occur an hour earlier during summer. With year-round standard time, Washington would see sunrise at 4.43 a. on the summer solstice. 